First at five, neighbors in Rancho Cordova are trying to understand what led up to a man shooting his elderly parents early this morning. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that suspect was shot and killed after a standoff with Sacramento County deputies. Take a look. I want to show you where it happened. Happened just south of Highway 50 near Old Placerville Road. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is there live right now. And Roxanne, I know you spoke to neighbors who are in shock by this whole thing. We did, Chris. They say they're in shock and didn't know something like this could happen in their quiet neighborhood. At this home right here that you could see behind me, there were some workers actually right now boarding up this window. One woman we just talked to, she said she and others knew that the man was suffering of some mental health issues, but they never thought that it could lead to something like this. It was chaotic. I mean, there was police, fire trucks, um, regular cars look like and the sirens were just going and going in the early hours of Thursday. Neighbors in Rancho Cordova were startled by the sound of Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies arriving at a home on Hartzell Way. About 1 15 this morning, we received a 911 call from inside the resident on Hartzell. Uh, adult female called stating that she had been shot. Deputies arrived, actually found her lying across the front door. We're able to confirm that she's deceased. Sergeant Amar Gandhi says a man was also standing in the doorway, refused to cooperate and barricaded himself in the home. Deputies then learned he was armed and they tried to have him surrender peacefully for about two hours. When that didn't work, deputies say the man walked to the backyard holding a rifle. At least two deputies fired at him and he was shot and killed. Deputies and officers went inside the residence, did locate a second victim was another adult male. Uh, turned out that the suspect who we shot was the son of the two victims, uh, two elderly victims. He says the suspect is known to law enforcement and has a history of mental health issues. It's believed this played a factor in the shooting, but detectives are investigating if drugs were involved. The family is not being identified until the sheriff's office notifies family members. Brenda and Lou Stagg, a wife and husband who have lived here for more than three decades, say the shooting is concerning. They didn't know the family personally, but they say they pretty much kept to themselves. The couple now planning to stay vigilant. I didn't think something like that would happen in this neighborhood. You know, because like Brenda was saying, it's pretty quiet over here. And these folks that live over here, we've been here for years. So it really surprised yeah. me that something we've like that happened. Ever Back out here live, the sheriff's office says all parties involved died here at the scene. In the meantime, the deputy involved shooting is under investigation as well. We're told by the sheriff's office that those deputies will be on paid administrative leave. I'm live in Rancho Cordova, Roxanne Elias, ABC 10. Just a sad and scary day for so many people. Our Roxanne live for us with that update. We thank you.